The ending of One Piece. A monumental moment to tie up everything together. How will this epic series end? Hello, my Nakamatachi, this is Joy Girl, and today we're going to be discussing the ending of One Piece. The fact that we are discussing the ending, it becomes clearer of how little time we have left to enjoy the world's greatest series, relatively speaking, and in that light, I do encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you have not already, so that we can make the most of our time whilst it lasts. But moving on from this slightly bittersweet emotional note, the reason for this video is due to a translation of a recent interview where Oda clarified a well-known fact, which is actually now a well-known myth regarding the ending of One Piece. This piece of non-truth was that Oda once said that if someone correctly discovered the ending of One Piece, then the mangaka would change it so that the ending would still be a surprise. This idea became quite well spread after Oda said something to this effect during an old interview. But this seems to have been misunderstood and is now confirmed to be untrue. According to a much more recent conversation on a TV talk show called Pirate King TV, which I might add is a One Piece themed variety show which sounds really awesome, how have I not heard of it before? In any case, Oda clarified that the notion of him changing his ending if a fan discovered it is not true. And this fits with what we already know about Oda and the ending, which is that it came to him back in his college days, which he has been tweaking ever since. And there are a few things we should note. I don't think the myth came out of nowhere, and it's just something that was completely made up by fans. From my understanding, Oda did say something similar along the lines of changing the ending in an old interview, but it was more like, I avoid fan theories because if I found something that guessed it right, I would want to change my ending to the story. Or even if he did say that he would change his ending, he wasn't meaning it very seriously. Also, I want to thank Sandman AP and Arta, the Library of Ahara for their translations of Oda's most recent interview and spreading the truth about his misunderstood statement. There is a point of difference between their translations, which is that according to Sandman, Oda said that he will never change the final chapter and panel just because a fan gets the ending right. As Oda declared as early as 1999, which was only a couple of years into One Piece, he decided what the final chapter and panel to the series would be. And if this is the case, then it does seem that there is some room for the mangaka to make some changes to the story and how it arrives at its final chapter. Nevertheless, it is just highly unlikely that Oda would change something as monumental as the entire series' ending simply because a fan guessed it correctly. As someone as well planned out as Oda, who has dedicated literally half of his life to the series, it's hard to imagine a better ending than one he has already set up, and equally hard to imagine that someone would guess it 100% correctly. And even if they did? We wouldn't be robbed of the joy of watching Oda execute said ending because let's be honest, even if we somehow arrived at the correct ending, reading it unfold as Oda intended will be 100, 1000, 1 million times better than we ever could have anticipated. But this is still too big a challenge with all the unanswered elements left in the series. So then, what is the point of this video, you may ask? Well, the endeavour which we are undertaking today is to discuss the various loose ends which will need to be resolved before the series wraps up and how this will accumulate to a possible ending. So without further ado, let's get into it. We already know some tiny hints of how One Piece will end. For example, in the SBS corner of the most recent volume, SBS 97, Oda clarified that the approximate 5 year timeline for the ending of One Piece concerned only the juiciest part of the story. Which means that by the ending, or at least the final chapter, Luffy and the Straw Hats will have most likely found the One Piece and have already defeated the final antagonists. But I guess this does still raise some questions of what the juicy final plotline entails. We are still facing off two Yonko in our current Wano arc, and assuming that they are defeated, which in itself is still a large maybe, who will Luffy face off next, and in what order? For example, there are the following individuals or groups that have been set up to be Luffy's foes. Blackbeard is the first that comes to mind. As the newest to join the rank of Yonko and has been portrayed as the polar opposite of Luffy, this pirate whose actions contributed to the death of his brother will be likely facing off Luffy in the future. 
There is also the world government, particularly Sakazuki whose philosophy of absolute justice makes him hell-bent on capturing our Straw Hat Captain, as well as the mysterious figures of the Gorosei and Im whose physical strength is not yet known, but they still seem to pose a huge threat to Luffy from reaching his goals. Even aside from these big names, there may still be even others whom Luffy may have to fight, such as against his fellow Worst Generation members, most notably Kid, as he has been portrayed to be Luffy's rival. And as we have discussed in a previous video, maybe even Shanks will end up becoming Luffy's enemy. Just kidding. Maybe? In all seriousness, there are also many mysteries that we will still need to resolve. What is the meaning behind the Will of D? What or who is the third ancient weapon? What happened during the Void Century? And of course, what is the One Piece? And in light of the recent clarification made by Oda, it seems the mangaka has some general ideas on how to resolve all of these remaining battles and questions even though some details may change. But even on top of this, there are so many other remaining loose ends which need resolving. Before we can continue however, anime only fans will have to skip ahead so as to avoid any spoilers. Prior to finding the One Piece, our Straw Hat crew will need to find the Road Polyglyph, which Roger found on Fishman Island but this has since disappeared, so where is it now and who moved it? And speaking of Fishman Island, what is the history behind the Noah? And what will become of the prophecy which foresaw Luffy destroying their island? What is the meaning behind Joy Boy's apology on the historical poneglyph still in the sea forest? Which brings us to questions concerning mystery characters. Who even is Joy Boy? Who is Weevil really? And what role will he play? When will we meet Vegapunk? And how did Dr. Kuroha know about the Will of D? And how will the revolutionaries play into everything going on currently? Aside from characters, there are other mysteries such as who does the giant straw hat we saw at Marijua belong to? What is the secret treasure of Marijua, which Doflamingo is aware of? Does the all blue exist? And if so, where is it? What is the voice of all things and where does it come from? What was Zunisha's crime? What is the history behind the treasure tree Adam and sunlight tree Eve? What is the origin of devil fruits? as well as recent events which we have yet to see the result of, such as what happened at Baltigo, what happened following the reverie, and what happened to Moria. And so many more because there are still other questions on top of these. Smaller mysteries such as deeper backstories behind characters, which may be as simple as why Roger became a pirate, and here is the manga spoiler to any anime only fan, so please skip ahead to the time on the screen or the truth behind Frankie's allegedly pirate parents, but nonetheless, one's hinted to be answered in the future. And just because of the sheer volume of remaining mysteries, I do believe that many of these will be resolved together, most likely at the time of the discovery of One Piece, which will reveal the truth behind many other questions. But we haven't received many more confirmations regarding these mysteries, but one thing we do know is that there will be a major war. One, to make Marineford look cute. Oda has said on multiple occasions that following the Wano arc, we will be witnessing the greatest war the world has ever seen. So in my head, for a war to be greater than Marineford and greater than the God Valley incident, unless of course Oda was referring to drawing a flashback to the massive historic incident, this final war will have to be one which involves the Straw Hats, the Blackbeard Pirates, the World Government, and the revolutionaries all as the primary players in a huge chaotic battle where there are multiple conflicting interests and goals. And I wouldn't limit it to just these groups because I can see many different groups and individuals also participating as part of various alliances in this war. However, this does still leave us with a big question of how will all of this play out? And whilst that is still uncertain, I can at least say that if we can use Marineford and Wano as a measure of how epic this final war will be, then I have full confidence in Oda to deliver on this final saga. And as there are so many questions still remaining unanswered, this also does mean that there are various discussions still to be had. Which personally makes One Piece all the more enjoyable. And on that note, please let me know of which remaining mystery you are most eager to have answered. And please also let me know of what questions I didn't mention in this video by leaving a comment below. 
Please like and share this video if you enjoyed watching. And please also subscribe as discussing the many questions of One Piece is truly my favorite pastime. And I would love for all of you to join me in that journey. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.